a similar incident here in the UAE just last month over Dubai airspace. The airspace was closed down for about an hour, again, due to a quadcopter that appeared. Now, on one hand, this is quite concerning. You know, the last thing that we need at some of our busiest airports around the world, of course, is yet another security challenge. On the other hand, we found this really interesting. For it's another indication of the growing impact of information and communication technologies on individuals, on organizations, and society. The impact of the new world versus the world. The impact of what we call digital transformation at IDC. And of course, there are other examples of this. You can think about a lot of the discussions we've had in Europe within the last year about the right to be forgotten and the European Court of Justice decision against Google in this case when it comes to data privacy. Or think about all the stress that Uber is causing for a very highly regulated taxi industry in many parts of the world today. And there are many other examples. And the reason this is happening is because new and better technologies are enabling individuals to do things themselves. Increasingly, increasingly individuals and organizations are leveraging newer technologies to transform traditional businesses, products, services, and activities. In essence, to give us what we want in a better way. So when the CEO of Barclays Bank says that the banking industry has undergone one of the largest transformations or changes uh, in recent history, what he's talking about, of course, is the impact of digital transformation and these various technologies. What I'd like to do briefly in the session this morning is talk about digital transformation and the impact, look briefly at some of the underlying technologies, uh, look at the impact of areas like consumer and, of course, industry and enterprise, and then also leave uh, you with a few things to think about, some of the discussion points that we'll have in the summit in the next several days, some of the things that IT needs to think about when it addresses the topic of digital transformation. So first of all, a bit of context. Um, as you know, IDC's talked for a number of years now what we call the third platform. It's once in every 20, 25 year transition to a new platform of growth and innovation um, in, the, in the ICT industry built upon this platform of you know, cloud, big data, social, uh, mobile, as you can see here. Now, we believe that 2015 is going to be a critical year in the development of the industry as we move to what we call the innovation phase. Well, we think we're going to see an explosion of innovation and application and value creation on top of this combination of these, of these, tech, these core technologies. But that's not all. There's also another set of technologies that we think will drive even more innovation in 2015 and beyond, which we call innovation accelerators. And just to name a few, first of all, the Internet of Things. The extension of the edge to something like, we believe, something like 30 billion things that will be connected by 2020 if you investment in ICT infrastructure. Or take the example of 3D printing, really at a very early stage of development, but we also get to think that by 2020, something like 10% of all, of all uh, things or consumer products worldwide will be able to be printed on demand. 